For our reading of Chaitanya Bhagavat. Hare Krishna. We just sang this song from Nartam Das Thakur. And I think many of you know this bhajan. Goranga Bolite Habi. And this is a song of of spiritual hope and aspiration. And we should always be hoping and we should always be aspiring. Every day we should be hoping that we can make a step closer to Krishna. And we should actually start to understand how wonderful and how great that goal is of attaining Krishna's devotional service. So in this verse, Naratam Das Thakur, he says, he says, Goranga Bolite Habi Pulaka Shavir. When will that day come that when I chant Goranga, uh, all of the hairs of my body will stand on end? Он говорит, когда же придет тот день при воспевании имени Гауранга, когда при воспевании имени Гауранга все волоски на моем теле станут дыбом. 
and then Hari Hari Bolite Nayani Bhavi Nir. And when we chant Hari Hari, then my eyes will shower a flood of tears. So this is definitely an advanced stage of devotional service. Which is brought about by sincere Guru Seva. And which is brought about by sincere practice of Sadhana Bhakti Yoga. And by that Sadhana Bhakti Yoga, trying to absorb oneself in Krishna. As our Rupa Goswami has taught us, our first principle is that we are always meant to remember Krishna. And the first thing which is prohibited is to forget Krishna. So we should always endeavor to keep our minds absorbed and fixed in the Lord. And Krishna promises that if there is a devotee who is always keeping his mind fully absorbed in his devotional service, through chanting his names and through hearing his glories, to that devotee, he will always maintain what assets he has in bhakti. And if the devotee has any shortcomings, then Krishna will provide for him personally whatever he is falling short. So really always keeping the mind absorbed. Uh, and always thinking of the Lord. Like here it is Hari Hari Bolite Nayani Bhavinir. Chanting Hari Hari, a shower of tears will come from my eyes. And we've been reading the past few days from Chaitanya Bhagavad. Now, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so clever that even before he p appeared in this world, he had everybody chanting Hari Hari. And then we've read over the past days that when he was a child, he would always get the ladies in the home to constantly chant Hari Hari. And because of this, you know, constant festival of Nam Sankirtan that Lord Chaitanya was creating, everybody was always blissful. So it began from the first time we chanted the Maha Mantra. And then with our attentive chanting, it will ultimately develop to the position of samadhi or constant remembrance of the Lord. And this is what Krishna wants. Man mana bhava mad bhakto. Always think of me with love, become my devotee. And then in the next verse, Narottam Das Thakur states, When will that day come when Nitai Chand, the moon of Lord Nityananda, when he will bestow his mercy upon me? 
когда же придет тот день, когда Нитайчант, Господь Нитянанда, подобная Луне, пробьет на меня свою милость? He will flood me with all of his mercy. Он затопит меня своей милостью. And then he says, Samsara Basanamora Kavitu Chahabe. When Nitai gives me mercy, then all the material desires will leave my heart. And goodness, there is such a stockpile of those desires that are within from uh, lives that we'd have, we've had since immemorial time. <coughs> Боже, в нашем сердце такая огромная куча этих желаний, которые там копятся с незапамятных времен. But just one glance of mercy from Nittai. Но лишь один милостивый взгляд Нитая. All material desires will be finished. Благодаря ему всем материальным, всем материальным желаниям придет конец. And then we become competent to understand the real activities of Radha and Krishna and their associates in Goloka Vrindavan. Тогда мы сможем понять uh, истину о деяниях Радхи, Кришны и их спутников на Галоке Вриндаване. В next verse he says, В следующем стихе он говорит, Бишая чария каби шуда хавимана, каби хама херабо ши Вриндаван. He says that uh, the mind must become free from the desire for sense gratification. Он говорит, что ум должен избавиться от желания чувственных наслаждений. And when the mind does become free, only at that time can I understand Jugala Priti or I can understand the divine love of the divine couple. Is that what the verse said? That's the, the verse, verse, that's the next line. <laughs> I have been caught by the great mystic master, Sri Charan. Vishaya chariya kabi shudahabhimana kabi hamaherabo Sri Vrindavan. So, if we want to understand Vrindavan, then we have to become free from the desire for sense gratification. Если мы хотим посетить Вриндаван, то тогда нам нужно избавиться от желания чувственных наслаждений. And naturally, within the divine realm of Sri Vrindavan, the activities of divine love are taking place by the divine couple. And all of their divine associates, Nanda Maharaj and Mother Jasoda, and all of Jasoda's associates, and all of Nanda's associates. And uh, yeah, and uh, Sudam, Subal, Madhumangal. Sudam, Subal, Madhumangal. And the little boys like Raktak and Patrak. And Krishna has so many groups of boyfriends. That he exchanges love with. What to speak of all the trees and the creepers and the birds and all the different beasts of Vrindavan. This morning I went to visit my neighbor Balaram Baba. And uh, we've been good friends now for 31 years. So I just went over to sit with him for about a half an hour and just catch up what is happening. And for you all who know no Brindavan, you know the little lane that comes down to my house. And forever, on the right side there, there was one old house. 
и на протяжении вечности по правую руку там всегда был старый старый дом. And a few years ago somebody purchased that house and they took it down. Now that entire lot is empty. И несколько лет назад кто-то купил этот дом, снес его, и теперь этот участок пустой. I'm terribly afraid that somebody may somebody's purchased it and I'm terribly afraid that somebody may build something horrible there. И кто-то купил этот участок, и я переживаю, что кто-то может построить там что-то ужасное. If anybody has a few million dollars, you should give to me quickly so I can purchase the property and plant trees. Если у кого-то из вас есть пару миллионов долларов, можете мне их поскорее пожертвовать, чтобы я выкупил эту землю и посадил деревья. But that man gave Balaram Baba the back part of the property. Но этот человек, он отдал Баларам Бабе заднюю часть этой собственности. Not much land. Не очень много. But there were a few trees growing on that property. И на этой земле, которую он отдал, росло несколько деревьев. So Balaram Baba put the prashadam room downstairs. И Баларам Баба он сделал внизу хол для просада. And upstairs he made like a like a nice patio veranda to receive guests. А выше он построил такую хорошую красивую веранду, чтобы гостей там встречать. And he made a straw hut that he lives in. И также он там сделал соломенную хижину, в которой он живет. Such a beautiful situation. Очень прекрасная обстановка. And those trees he didn't cut. И эти деревья он не срубил. So when you go there, it's like in the Prashadam area, you have these trees that are growing up, and then you have the you know the the ceiling and the trees and the ceiling has been made in such a way that the trees they grow through and then like the green of the trees is all over his veranda and it's such a beautiful situation и получилась какая ситуация что вот этот зал для просада там прям в нём растут эти деревья и потолок сделан таким образом чтобы деревья проходили через него и на втором этаже там где у него веранда uh, вся зелень этих деревьев находится. And he told me, Maharaj, he said, in the morning, it is so wonderful. И он мне говорит, Maharaj, по утрам здесь так чудесно. He said, since this coronavirus lockdown has happened, с того момента, когда начался карантин из-за коронавируса, so many birds that I have not seen in Vrindavan for 35 years, 40 years, they come back and they sit in this tree and they talk and they talk and they talk. Так много разных птиц, которых я не видел во Вриндаване уже 35-40 лет, они вернулись и они сидят в этом дереве и постоянно щебечут. And in the original Vrindavan, there are so many pure souls who are living as birds. В изначальном Вриндаване присутствует множество чистых душ, которые живут в форме птиц. Participating in Krishna's lila. И они участвуют в лилах Кришны. But to go to that Vrindavan, we have to give up this desire for sense gratification. Но чтобы отправиться в этот Вриндаван, нам нужно избавиться от желания чувственных наслаждений. See, any drop, any tinge of this desire to enjoy separate from Krishna, it must be given up. Сам, даже самая последняя капелька этого желания наслаждаться отдельно от Кришны должна быть э, оставлена. And the only way we can do it is by absorbing ourselves more in Krishna. И единственный способ этого достичь погружать себя больше и больше в Кришну. Then in the next verse he says, Rupa Raghunatha Pade Hoibe Akuti Kabihama Bujavase Jugala Pariti he says, when will I become very enthusiastic to follow the instructions of Rupa and Raghunath Das Goswami? Only then will I understand divine love. Only then I will become an insider in understanding the activities of Radha and Krishna. Smagupanyat Nutrini Atnashanya Mishdurathi Krishna. 
So we should lead lives like Rupa and Raghunath Das Goswami. Нам нужно жить как Рупа и Раганатх Дас Госвами. Of course, now it's 2020. Сейчас, конечно же, 2020 год. It's not, uh, it's not 500 years ago in Vrindavan. Сейчас во Вриндаване не так, как 500 лет назад. But still, we should follow their example, and we should lead our lives based on noble principles like humility and tolerance. We should give respect to every living being and not hanker that respect will be given to us. Because if we do that, then we'll be able to chant the holy names at all times. We should follow their example in just taking what we need. We should learn how to live according to our needs and not according to our wants. Like one of the aspects of the coronavirus that that I think I found relishable and maybe she Charn has found relishable is that we're eating very simply. Один из аспектов коронавируса, который мне кажется очень приятным, что мы едим очень просто. You satisfied? Yeah, we're eating so simply, but we're very satisfied. You know, there's, you know, no hankering for more. Just, you know, satisfied with a little, it's fresh, but it's a little, then it's good. Live according to our to our actual needs and not according to our wants. You know, I'm really hoping that people of the world will look at the coronavirus and they'll start to think in this way. We wanted so many things. And we struggled hard for so many things. Yet look at the situation that we're in today. You know, all of this struggle, where did it bring us? All of this over-endeavor, where did it bring us? It would be wonderful that it, people would, uh, you know, think in terms of the principles that we just follow for survival. Like these four principles that we follow, it's not really a matter of, uh, you know, something that you can do or you can't do, it's, it's really something necessary just for survival in this world. Sadly, I saw the news today and uh, one of those states in America, uh, they've reopened and all the bars and the pubs have reopened. And after these two months of basically being locked down and being told to social distance, social distance, social distance, at the first opportunity to go out, people are packed in bars, side by side, you know, and drinking alcohol. 
И после этих двух месяцев, когда все находились в заперти, им постоянно говорили, соблюдайте дистанцию, соблюдайте дистанцию, соблюдайте дистанцию, после этого люди просто набились. Наш образ жизни привел нас к этому. Почему бы нам его не изменить? And I guess that really should give us inspiration to try to show more compassion, to give people more Krishna consciousness, so that they can attain a higher taste. И для нас это может послужить вдохновением, чтобы проявить больше сострадания к людям и захотеть дать им Сознание Кришны, чтобы они испытали высший вкус. Unless they relish something which is better, they're going to remain stuck in the same bad activity. Пока они не попробуют что-то лучше, они будут постоянно заняты той деятельностью, к которой они привыкли. And just continue to try to chew what has already been chewed. Также будут продолжать пытаться жевать то, что уже было переживано. So Rupa Raghunatha Padi Hoyve Akuti. Live like Rupa and Raghunath. То есть нужно жить как Rupa и Raghunath. Such ideal Vaishnavas. Они идеальные Vaishnavas. Living so simply. Они живут, жили так просто. Taking what they needed to keep body and soul together. Они принимали лишь самое необходимое, чтобы сохранять душу в теле. Not accepting so many unnecessary things. И они не принимали ничего uh, ненужного. And then we should start to read uh, the literatures of Rupa and Raghunath that describe the science of Krishna consciousness. И затем нам следует начать читать книги произведения Рупы и Рагунатхи, которые описывают науку сознания Кришны. And how to come to the stage of Bhav Bhakti, and then from Bhav Bhakti, uh, proceed to Prema Bhakti. И изучать, как мы можем достичь Bhav Bhakti, а затем от Bhav Bhakti перейти к Prema Bhakti. And then we should read the literatures of Rupa and Raghunath to understand how it is that they are serving Krishna in the spiritual world. И также читать произведения Рупы и Рагунатхи, чтобы понять, как они служат Кришне в духовном мире. So we follow their, their example in this world, and we aspire to follow their example in that world. И таким образом мы следуем их примеру, находясь в этом мире, и мы стремимся следовать их примеру в том мире, в духовном. And then we can understand in truth uh, the divine love of Radha and Krishna. И тогда мы сможем понять в истинном свете любовь Радхи и Кришны. And then Rupa Raghunatha Pade Rahu Mor Asha. Say it again. Pratana Korohe Sada Narutama Das. He says, they're my only Asha, they're my only hope. И затем он говорит, это моя единственная надежда. The instructions of Rupa and Raghunath. The example of Rupa and Raghunath. That is my only hope. Following in the footsteps of the great Vaishnavas, that's my only hope. You know, you've heard, probably you've all heard me tell this story before. But uh, Srila Prabhupada speaks about hope against hope. Meaning, materialists are always hoping, but the situation is never hopeful. But they're always hoping. And uh, once we uh, we went from Toronto to New York. No, we went from Buffalo to New York City in the summer of 1972. And that was the year that 
Шрила Прабхупад was in New York on the 4th of July. Это был год, когда Шрила Прабхупада был в Нью-Йорке на 4 июля. And we were all at the uh, Henry Street Temple in Brooklyn. Мы все находились в храме в Бруклине на Генри Стрит. And devotees came from all over. Преданные приехали отовсюду. To see Srila Prabhupada. And uh, and it was wonderful to catch a glimpse of Prabhupada. Henry Street was an old building. And I think with all the devotees visiting there must have been, you know, two or three hundred times more people inside of that building than what should have legally been allowed and Radha Govinda was there and it was a battle to try to get inside the temple room to see Srila Prabhupada. And generally, you know, they would let the, the New York City devotees in the temple for the Bhagavatam class, and they told all the other devotees to go downstairs and watch it on a screen. И обычно они пускали преданных из Нью-Йорка, чтобы послушать лекцию по Шимат Бхагаватам, а всем остальным говорили идти вниз и смотреть на экран. And literally, if we went in, the New York devotees just pick you up and throw you back out. И если кто-то пытался заходить, то нью-йоркские преданные тебя просто брали и выкидывали. Yeah, it was, it was a situation. Таково было положение. So, uh, and it was so hot in New York. I had only been to New York once in my life before, and that was for a couple of days in the winter. It was just blazing hot. So I remember one day, it was after Mongol Arctic, and I was on the sidewalk outside the temple, chanting Japa and trying to breathe. And then I looked up, and Srila Prabhupada, and sannyasis, and senior devotees, they were coming down the stairs, and Prabhupada was going to go for his morning walk. Я увидел, что шло пропада, все саньяси и старшие ученики спускались по лестнице и собирались отправиться на утреннюю прогулку. And so I offered my obeisances. Я принес поклоны. And then one devotee came running out of the building. И из здания выбежал один преданный. And I don't know who he was. Я даже не знаю, кто это был. And he said, can you drive? И он говорит, умеешь водить? And I said, yeah, I can drive. Я говорю, да, могу. And he said, okay, here are the keys, get in that van, let's go. Он говорит, хорошо, вот ключи, садись в этот минивэн, поехали. So we were going to follow Srila Prabhupada. Мы поедем за Srila Prabhupada. And go on the morning walk. И пойдем на утреннюю прогулку. But uh, at a certain point, Prabhupada's car turned off the expressway, and we got lost. Но в какой-то момент машина Prabhupada свернула с шоссе, и мы потерялись. So, you know, we turned around and we made our way back to the temple. And then, the way it was with Prabhupada was this. Anything that he did, you know, every devotee would want to know. And we would just sort of like hang on each word about each of Prabhupada's activities. So we, we grabbed one of the devotees who had been on the walk and we said, what did he say? 
И вот мы схватили одного преданного, который был на прогулке, и, и спрашиваем, что он рассказывал. Said, well, he didn't say much this morning. Ну, особо ничего утром он сегодня so не говорил. So in the park. Он гулял по парку. And then he came across a statue of Hans Christian Andersen. And uh, he was like this with a book. And then down by his foot there was a little statue of a duck looking up. And Srila Prabhupada pointed his cane at the duck. And he said, hope against hope. He was silent. And then he looked at the devotees. He said, do you understand what I mean? And the devotees were bewildered. So Prabhupada, I will, I will give explanation. Then he explained in India, Uh, when the farmer would take the, the oxen or the water buffalo and plow the field, there'd always be these white birds walking behind the oxen. Он объяснил, что в Индии, когда фермер берет волов или буйволов, чтобы пахать поле, за этим волом или He said, the white bird is always walking behind the buffalo, looking up. Now, do you understand? <laughs> no problem. He said, hope against hope. And then, The devotees, they were bewildered. And then Prabhupada said, it is like this. He said, those white birds are looking up. Like this little duck is looking up. And those white birds, they look up and they see the private part of the buffalo. И эта птичка смотрит вверх и видит uh, гениталии буйвола. And in his mind, he thinks, oh, it's a fish. <laughs> и она думает, о, это рыба. And sometime it's going to fall down. И когда-то эта рыба свалится. And I'm going to have something nice to eat. И я смогу, наконец, покушать нормально. But it never happens. Но этого никогда не происходит. So that's called, you know, hope against hope. И это и называется надежда вопреки надежде. And we see that the people today, they have hope in wealth, and they have hope in prestige, and they have hope in fame, they have hope in their name, they have hope in so many things that always fail them. И можно видеть, что сейчас люди, они надеются на свое богатство, на свой престиж, на свою славу или прославленное имя. Они надеются на все это, но оно всегда их подводит. But the only hope that we have are the words of our acharyas like Rupa and Raghunath Das. Но единственная надежда, которая есть у нас, это слова наших ачарьев, таких как Рупа и Raghunath Das. We have hope in the words of Srila Prabhupada. У нас есть надежда на слова Srila Prabhupada. We have hope in the words of our uh, The words of all of our charges of the Guru Parampara. We have hope in the words of the Srimad Bhagavatam. We have hope in Krishna's instructions to Arjuna. We have hope in the holy names of the Lord. You see that if we take shelter of this divine sound of these instructions, then we will be safe from the repetition of birth and death, and we will come to understand who we actually are. У нас есть надежда, что если мы примем прибежище в этих божественных наставлений, то мы будем спасены от рождения и смерти и поймем, кто мы на самом деле. As Krishna's eternal servant. Uh, и на самом деле мы вечные слуги Кришны. Okay, I spoke too much about the bhajan today. 
We'll have to continue with Chaitanya Bhagavat on Monday. Uh, we will chant Japa tomorrow morning. Sunday morning we'll have Kirtan and Japa. But no discussion in the afternoon. Thank you all for being here today. Goranga Bolite Habi Pulaka Sharir Hari Hari Bolite Nayani Babinir. All right, and uh, everybody stay safe. Please, uh, please don't try your luck. Be very, very conservative in what you do. Keep social distancing. You know, stay away from others. The, the virus is out there. Take advantage of Sangha online. Reach out, contact a friend. And uh, once again, I'd like to request everybody to please say a prayer for Gopi Janabalaba. Uh, Gopi became very, very weak and decided that it was time to go to the hospital. He could not get into a public hospital because his lung condition had not deteriorated sufficiently. So he's in a private hospital and he's very weak and he's requesting everybody to please pray for him. Okay, and we'll show you the deities now. Thank you all very much. Hare Krishna. the altar today. And here is Giriraj today. He's hiding in an ocean of jasmine and roses. Uh, Shiv Charan and I did something different today. We, we hung the jasmine garlands all over the altar in the morning. And we put a bed of jasmine all around Giriraj. But we saved the roses to put them on in the afternoon. So he is like sitting in a fresh bed of roses. And he's really having a wonderful time. And uh, you know this morning when we were chanting Japa, Shiv Charan brought me a glass of water. And we keep a jug in the fridge. It's, it has an open top. And, uh, and all the jasmine garlands were stacked up in the fridge. And when we drank the water, I started smiling and I I don't know if you all noticed this morning, but I tasted the water, I started smiling, and I told Shiv Charan to taste the water. And, and I said, do you notice the flavor? And he didn't 
immediately know what it was. Он сразу не понял, что это. And because the water had been in the fridge, it had absorbed the aroma of the jasmine. It was so delightful. И поскольку вода была в холодильнике вместе с жасмином, она впитала его аромат, и это было очень приятно. And here are Radha Govinda today. А здесь Radha Govinda. With these beautiful garlands. С чудесными гирляндами. Who makes the garlands now, Shri Charan? Aina Gul. Aina Gul. Aina Gul. Vrindavata. Brindalata and Omkara Krita. Three ladies, they make these garlands. Look how beautiful and tiny they are. Вот эти три матаджа, они делают эти гирлянды. Посмотрите, какие они красивые и очень маленькие, аккуратные. Jai Shri Radhe. And here is Govinda. А это Говинда. Jai Radha Govinda ki Jai. And over here are Dayanitai Gorachandra. As is Dayanitai Gorachandra. Jai Gora Harivo. Jai Gora Harivo. Jai Gora Harivo. Hi, boy, I'm Rita. Jai Natai. Hi, boy, Prima Murti. Hi, boy, Hari Bhajan. Hi, boy, Ma. How are you? <coughs> Jai Petit Pavan. And here is the Panchatattva. Shri Madhusudan. Assalamu alaikum. Kefal al Habibi. Tamam. Kuais. And here are the Goswamis. This Goswami. And Srila Prabhupada <coughs> in an ocean of roses. Srila Prabhupada in the Kanye Rose. Haribo Nitai Gore. How are you? Jai Nitai Gaur Sundar Ki Jaho. Nitai Gaur Sundar Ki Jaho. Jai Srila And here is the altar with the garlands hanging today. Okay, thank you all very much. See you for Japa tomorrow morning. Shiva